All right, so this is, I guess this could be the first episode of the final sector. That's what we're calling it, right? Yeah. Final yeah, sector. Go okay, yeah. good. Yeah, so this is the final sector. We're here at Champlain College's Wave Radio Studio. Uh, we talk in Formula One. I'm Luke Majeski. With me, I'm Dusty Jaffery. Yeah. We straight out of New England. Well, you're a European, but. Shout out 617. <laughs> Shout out 617. That's oh, what I'm Celtics. talking about. Celtics. Yeah, Let's all get this. Started. All this sports talk, but we big race fans, so now Formula One's starting up, like NASCAR, IndyCar, they're going on, but, you know, he's European out here, so we don't give a hell about that. Nah, Formula One only. So, there's been no racing, there's no racing for, like, three more weeks, right? Yeah. Whenever our spring break is. Yeah, yeah. some point in March, we start with Australia. Yeah, St. Patrick's Day, I think, yeah, early St. Patrick's Day for us. Okay. So, what we're doing now is, we have the ten teams, Mercedes through Williams, and we're ranking their paint jobs. So, we're going to go through the list of how they finished in constructors last year, so starting at Mercedes, Ferrari, Red Bull, and so on, and we have our top 10 paint jobs listed. We have not looked at each other's lists yet, but we're going to go through them, and we're going to argue why we placed them where we did. Basically, it's like the point system. It's like, who got 25, who got one? But yeah. sadly, there's no yeah, non-point we'll scores. There should be a few non-point scores, in my opinion. I but agree with you. I agree with you There's only 10, so... We can only go back there. All right. So starting out with the Mercedes, Dusty, how did you have it ranked and why did you rank it like that? Mercedes is my number three paint number job. Three? Yes. As much as I hate this team, uh, <laughs> they make a damn good looking car. Um, and they keep making it better, which I, I don't know how they keep doing that, but they change it in a subtle way, but they make it different enough to make it look really good and distinct from last year. This year... I like that thing that they have going on in the back, that fading into black with the, like, I don't know if that's, like, a star thingy. Oh, no, or it's like, the Mercedes logo. It's the Mercedes logo without yeah, the circle, without the right? Without the circle, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's great. Like, that's a great idea, and it looks really good. And then they have that, like, teal line, that, that like, wavy thing that they've been having, mm-hmm. um, and it just looks, like, slightly different every time with, like, the teal outline at the rims, like, it's just the black, silver, and teal make for, like, a beautiful combination. And it looks fast. It just looks really fast and scary. And as a Ferrari fan, I don't like that it looks fast, but it looks really good, I have to admit. You know, I, I, I'm i similar. I had them at number four okay. overall. But, because. like, there was only a few critiques that I had of it. But, like, starting out with what's good. Like, I really like that they brought back the 2010 Petronas in black. Like, they only ran yeah. for that for one year. Yeah. With I'm Shumi with and uh, Nico. But the fact that they brought it back for this year, like, it's just a really good look, black on silver instead of the white on silver. Plus, then they moved that teal line down. It used to just cover totally all over the Petronas. But now it's below, so you can read it a lot better. But, like, there's two problems I have with this car, with the paint job. Okay. So the first one is the colored numbers are gone. Oh, so, yeah, So, like, yeah, here's yeah. the thing. Over the past few seasons, like when there was Nico and Lewis and back when they had Shumi on the team, they had red numbers for their cars. And then was it last year or two? It was two years ago. When yeah, Valtteri they switched it in 17. The oh, yeah, they when, gave him the blue number. Yeah, they gave Valtteri the blue number and like the finish flag. And then Lewis got the uh, Union Jack with the red number still. Yeah. And like that was really cool that you could differentiate them. But now they got a black number on the front and white on the back. And I'm like, that isn't the best look. They could have gone a little more with that. They could they could use teal. Like they Valtteri could, use could have teal. had teal or something. I, I I can definitely see that. The only reason I think they did that is because to contrast it, like in the front they made it mm. black because it's like almost it's a very bright, almost white silver. It's a it's a and then in the back, yeah, the number on the back. If you can see, it's like on the it's on the black black yeah. side. Uh-huh. So they put the white there for contrast. That's the only reason I can think why exactly. They do that. But white outline. Like that yeah. could have been done. Yeah, they but could have another, another thing with this, the W10 Mercedes, just like for some reason over the engine cover, it's kind of like the Ferrari last year. It's really blank. Like I know like they're trying yeah. to show like the design with the Mercedes logos, but if you just put a normal Mercedes logo, like the badge of like the old Mercs, where like they had the circle around it right there and then it goes into the like the fade. Okay. Color. You could even fade the logo into it. It's just a little too... Basic on the engine. That's cover. one thing I actually like about it. I think they went with the less is more approach. Yeah. Well, um, they definitely have more the championships. More, yeah, so. they're getting more minimalist, and they 
it it works. I think it definitely works in their favor. Uh-huh. Um, so uh, that's what we got for Merck. The decal could have been too heavy. Yeah, yeah. that is All true. All right, so that's Mercedes. Uh, Desi number three, me number four. So now we're going to go to the Matt Ferrari. <laughs> the Matt Ferrari. So I'm going to let you take this one first. I got this at number two. Number two? This is my number two paint job. Damn, we're really similar. I had a or, number three. Okay. Yeah, there. Originally, okay, so. originally, I was, before I knew this was Matt, I was very disappointed. This would have been a lot lower on my list. But then I saw the pictures of it from, like, outside with, like, outside lighting, and it looks absolutely gorgeous. It has been, like, a dream of mine for them to make a Ferrari matte red for years now. I have been saying it every year. I hope they make a matte red Ferrari. And they finally did, and it looks absolutely gorgeous. I love the black Mission Win Now logo that they have. (laughs) Um, That meme just keeps on giving. Like, no matter, like... Philip it's, Morris really didn't think that It's through. not a sponsor. It's a request. <laughs> it's an order. The simplified front wing looks great with uh-huh. the black and red. Um, and it's just, they also went with a pretty simple paint job, just adding some black to it and then keeping the red. But the matte just makes it look so good and fast. It looks like this is, as we know, matte paint gives you downforce. <laughs> yep, so we're yep. going to have some, it, this should have some fast cornering speeds. It's making me pretty excited for the season. Um, actually, unlike m- most people that I've heard react to this, I like the black halo. Yeah. Um, I'm a pretty big fan of that. And I think the whole thing just looks gorgeous in um, in daylight lighting. Mm-hmm. I just really like that black is now a primary color for Ferrari again. Mm-hmm. Because back in the 90s, and like a little bit in the eighties, like it was the red and black Ferrari, like when Prost drove for them, when Mansell drove for them, Alasian yeah. Berger, like even Schumacher that first year he had back, black was like a primary color, and that hasn't really been seen well. Like they, they've started to bring it back, like in twenty thirteen, I think that was the first year they had um black back on there. Mm-hmm. But then like when Santander was there, and now with Philip Morris and Mission Winnow, like and, like the fake Marlboro sponsorship, it's like yeah. the barcode. They like, even brought the barcode back. Like, with that being white, like, white was always the Ferrari color, but I've been calling, like, hey, bring back the black, bring back the gold wheels from, like, the days where it was almost time to win before, like, the Vodafone car came out. Yeah. But, like, that black Mission Winnow logo, and a lot of people are also hating that it's black letters on the rear wing. Because, like, in the shade, you can't see it. Yeah, I don't mind that. I mean, because... it, like, it looks great when the yeah. light's hitting it dead yeah. on. In most track conditions in open daylight, it looks beautiful, especially now that the rear wing is also, long, like, deeper and mm-hmm. uh, longer. It's going to give it – it should give it plenty of spotlight um, for that. And I think the black also works a lot better with the matte. Yeah. Um, than the – it, the, I feel like the white worked better with the glossy yes. red, and then the black works really good with the matte. And I hope they even take it further in the future and add a little more black to it. Uh-huh. Um, give it, like, some type of if accents fully on black the side front or something. Wing. Fully bl- black Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd be with that. Um, I would not be opposed to that at all. And maybe some colored rims, maybe black rims or something oh, like true. that. Oh, true, yeah. That would, black be, I last like thing, that would be really cool. Last thing I want to say about the Ferrari. So, yeah, again, I had it third. Desi, you had it in fourth. At Bahrain in Singapore, under the lights, yes, this car would be an yes. easy number one. Under Absolutely. the lights, this car is crazy. Absolutely. All I right. agree with you there. So now to number three, Red Bull, which we're not going to talk about the testing livery, which like really highlighted. Like, that would have pa- changed the ranking significantly. <laughs> like to highlight the new, what do you call it, Honda partnership. We're going to talk about the normal livery, Red Bull brand energy drinks Desi you have a lot of strong opinions about this livery <laughs> number eight. eight I have I it at number eight number nine <laughs> number nine, for, <laughs> number nine okay. for me yeah okay because okay it's so, still matte keep in mind yes. it's still matte I'll bump that uh, up for that so like okay so here's my why I have it down at number nine because mm-hmm. I've loved the Red Bull paint shops like I'll yeah. defend a Red Bull like to death for like keeping their company image but like yes you're fine using the normal brand paint job, but it's just when you start out showing up at the reveal with the paint job that yeah, they had. They got to stop doing this. It just brings you down. Like, okay, last year's car, like this might be controversial. I didn't really like the camel that they had last year. 
I the like the testing one, one. The testing one, yeah. Okay. I like the testing one that they had with Kafir and Ricardo a few years back. In fifteen, yeah, that black and white one. That one was that beautiful. Was, that was that great. Was be- like, was it? I had yeah F one twenty fourteen because yeah, that was like, I couldn't I couldn't afford um any of the games like after the after F one twenty fourteen on my PC. Like I downloaded this thing this um livery that went onto the Red Bull that had the normal Red Bull colors, but it had the camo paint job still. And that, like, if they would have ran gorgeous. with that one, it would have been beautiful. Yeah. But then they went back to the, actually, it was back when they had still had Infinity sponsorship, right? Yeah, yeah, they had so the like, purple. The purple made it better. Yeah, I definitely, definitely like the purple. I mean, if purple could come back, 15. that'd be cool. But Honda, like, with that partnership. The mat, though, on this, on the testing paint job, that would have been an easy number one. But yeah, because they went I back to the normal one that. after that, number nine. N- it's number gotten, nine for me. It's gotten tired. Um, we've seen it before a bunch of times now. There's like literally almost no changes to it. It's just the same thing we've had since uh, 16? 16? 16, 16, yeah. yeah. Whatever for Schaffen won, yeah. And 16. When they introduced it in 16 and it was new and fresh, it looked amazing and it, it blew us away. Um, me at least with the matte paint job and just the dark blue. They really started but, the matte trend. Yeah, they then did. Ran out. They really did. Um, but then they they just kind of stagnated and nothing changed. And then last year they put out that blue testing livery, which I personally loved. I thought it was amazing. I would have loved for them to run that. And then this year they did the same thing with the red, the red one we're looking at right now. Yeah, the red. They get rid of the Red Bull yellow too. Yeah. Like that. Like and the red really made the car pop. As you know, this is going to become a common theme with the liveries I don't like. I don't like liveries that are kept the same. Like, I want change <laughs> yeah. in paint jobs. I like to see some type of change because we haven't had any Formula One since Thanksgiving. Yes. That's when Abu Dhabi was. And this is the first interesting thing we get. This is basically what I, I counted as the start of the season. This is when, like, the excitement builds up. Uh-huh. Um, and I – it's – it's such a big anticipation for me, at least, to see what these cars are going to look like, and then and then we just get the same thing from last year, and that kind of kills that kind of kills the anticipation, and that's that's what happened here with a bunch of other teams, and yeah. Red Bull's one of them, and they I feel like they need to change something in the next few years Another to thing stop about it from getting boring. In car reveals in general, like this is more about the bodies, not the paint jobs, but you know. 2016 was the last year with, like, the tall wings and, like, the skinnier cars. So mm-hmm. when 2017 came out, every car looked great. Yeah. Because it was, like, yeah, exactly. they were wider, the rear wing it was, was new. lower. It was completely yes. new. Last year, 2018, the Halos came out. Yeah. And that was, like, the, whoa, okay, this is difficult to get with. 2019, we got new front wings. New front wings. Like, uh, new uh, rear wings. I, I like the look. I love, I've been calling for these new front wings forever. Yeah, but mainly like, to improve the racing because that's been a huge problem the past but, two years. like, it's the excitement's gonna be on track. Like the the excitement now. Yeah, yeah. Like it used to be I'm like looking forward to. Like that's where our eyes are supposed to go. Like that's nothing compared to the like livery. So that's yeah. why like liveries are a big talk right now, especially on Twitter. Yeah, because this is all we have right yep. now. <laughs> all right, so that's uh, Red Bull it's talked Red about. Bull. So now we're going um, to best of the rest. Renault. Renault. So you want to pull that up? We have yeah, um, yeah, yeah. the road and track article on uh, Dusty's um, laptop right now. That's that's, not that's just yeah. <laughs> they, they put a YouTube video on there. What's up with that? Yeah. All right. So now the 2019 Renault. This thing. Which that looks like the 2018 one. Yeah, that's 2018. Is it? Yeah, I can tell the difference. I know you can't. Nope. Which and I think gonna that's gonna, to gonna that. we're gonna get we're gonna to gonna that. Get yeah. To that. <laughs> uh, black numbers. Really? Yeah, it has black numbers on the front. Oh, that's difficult. What, what? Uh, Why is it so difficult? No, that's still that's okay. This that's th- this like really crazy. highlights what Desi's about to say. Like we're struggling to find. I wish we were videotaping this, Is but it this? yes, that's it right there, okay. right there. That's Daniel Ricardo. Yeah. All right, Desi. So I have the Renault at seven. Um, I think it looks good. Don't get me wrong. I I don't like yellow, but I feel like this yellow works. Uh, with the black, it looks pretty damn good. And when this paint job style theme that they got going on first came out. I had it, like, probably in my top three um, because I really like what they've done here. But just like the Red Bull, we got that meh factor that plays into part here, which is they've just kind of done the same thing. Although I have it higher than Red Bull because they changed it up a little more. It's not 
fully the same, but it's still the same idea is still there. And as you could hear before, I was struggling to find a Renault that was this year's because I kept getting confused with 17 and 18. If you pulled me up pictures of the Renaults from like the past three years, obviously not the Halo because that's going to confuse things, but I wouldn't be able to tell the difference. I couldn't tell you which one's 17, 18, 19. Um, they all basically look the same. Not to say that it looks ugly because I think it looks pretty gorgeous, uh -huh. but pretty much the same thing I just said about the Red Bull. Same thing. No significant changes from year to year. Although, still a good paint job, but uh, mid's number seven. I really love simple tweaks to a paint job over time. So, like, mm -hmm. Red Bull, like, they kind of do it, but, like, not so much. Renault, like... Renault does it better. Renault, like, I have the eye for just subtle little changes in a paint job. I have this at sixth just because, like, I saved, like, the top five for ones that have changed. Like, yeah. a lot. So, like, this is the top of the back. But even though, like, I'm looking at my list right now, there are a couple of cars with um, different paint jobs. This Renault, I love the fact that they've changed. Like, the number on the engine cover is now yellow, and the number on the front is now black. Like, that's a change that, like, I've been looking for ever since they, Solid the, um, contrast. The, new, um, the new regulations came in. Because, like, when it was signs and... Um, Hulkenberg or Palmer and Hulkenberg, like like you couldn't see the number from far right away. Here. That's a good picture. But now like you can clearly see the three from the twenty seven. Like it's a little simpler um, numbers because one's double digit and one's single digit. But like it just stands out so much better. Then there's another like little tweaks like parts that used to be black and now yellow. Parts that used to be yellow are now black. The ch the branding has changed up a little bit. So I'm it's gonna make solid. a change to my ranking. Okay, bet. I'm we, bumping Renault up to six. Okay, there you go. So we both agree on something. I'm switching my six and seven. So do you see now? No, I, I actually, I'm looking at this, your point about the, the yellow numbers in the back. Yeah. That's very cool. And I like how they made the yellow is like a neon yellow. Almost. Yes. That's pretty cool. Uh -huh. I like that. That's how you make yellow better, right. in my opinion, is either matte or neon. Uh-huh. No, it's not good. just your typical gloss. And I'm, I'm a sucker for yellow. You know that. So. Yeah. <laughs> yes. All right. So that's Renault, and now we're moving on to um, the hometown or home country team, Haas, Haas. F1. Uh, this is actually what I just swapped my ranking with. Haas is number seven. Haas is number seven. Haas is number seven. Okay, I want you to explain that one right yes. there. Yes, I really like the direction that they're going the with direction. Haas. It's, it's different. Yes. This is what I'm talking about. It's different. The, my only thing against it is that they didn't go far enough with it. They, they went with a really basic, really safe um, paint job. I'm gonna, that's which is the exact happened. opposite of which rich energy. Exactly. <laughs> like they're not safe at all. I feel, like, I feel like they had an, they have an amazing concept here and it's a really good start. And hopefully they're gonna add on more to it um, in the future. Uh -huh. But it, the black and gold looks really good as we've seen with the Lotus Yes, from uh, like, 2012 to like 15. Yes. That, and of that course was a the, very the good looking ones, car. Like yeah. With uh, Senna and Andretti. Yeah, exactly. This is a very good looking car, very good looking paint job. Um, they just kind of kept the gold to a very minimal, like just outline, just like a uh -huh. little detailing lines on the on the side by the engine cover. And I felt like they could have, could have expanded more on that. Uh, maybe do something with the gold, like kind of what Sauber did last year mm -hmm. uh not last year two years ago yes when the, they had the blue and gold the 25th anniversary yeah that was gorgeous and i was hoping it would go kind of more that direction but i do think i think it's a step in the right direction that haas has taken here and oh wow they have gold rims i never i did yeah. not notice that that's oh, that's very cool is that you're looking at a, what do you call it that's a concept that's a concept yes it's so hard because to find these paint I jobs can tell, right now. Yeah, no, Google Images isn't the right. No, that's a concept, too. That's also a concept, yep. yep. On Road and Track, you had a good picture of it. Yeah. All right, so, yeah, right there. Yeah, we'll go with that. Okay, so Haas, right? Like, they've been racing NASCAR forever. Like, I think their first season was, like, 02, 03, and they've had great know. paint jobs. That concept was better. The real card doesn't look as good as that. That's what I'm saying. Not enough gold. Even that so, minimal gold... Is not there. So I'm I'm a go, I'm a dive into the paint job and reason it out before my positioning. So, mm -hmm. rich energy, 
don't know what this company is. Like, I know the energy drinks. Apparently, they're made in Austria. It tastes just like Red Bull. It's like I think they have a cool looking logo. The it looks like the cool. Milwaukee Bucks logo. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Uh, yeah, but I gold, I like that. But okay, so the front, it's good gold. So you look at the front, like it's really, really menacing looking. Like you see that in your rearview mirror, you're like, okay, that's gonna be like a challenge. At least it, it looks like potential. a challenging car. Yes, you flip it around to the side. And you see the big white Haas logo and the Rich Energy logo where you can't really see depending on the lighting. And, like, it's just nothing. Mostly just black. It's no, it's literally blank. And I feel, yeah. like, I feel like they lost their racing stripes. Like, I, the, the, the fan art has been so good with this paint mm-hmm. job. Absolutely. And I'm, like, I'm disappointed. I'm like, this was the only car that I looked at and was disappointed. Like, this is more disappointing of a paint job than what they came out. Remember that gray paint job that they came yeah, out with? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like, from the 20s, early 20s, it was so bad Oof. that they changed it, like, by Monaco, right? Yeah, that was rough. I, that's going to happen with this paint job. I hope so. It's, I really hope this so. This paint job isn't making it to Canada. What's so, what's <laughs> sad about this is that it's a disappointing paint job, but it has so much potential. potential. Like, make the Haas logo white on the side. This is number 10. This right here number for me 10. is All number right. 10. Haas, I love you. Th- you're a great NASCAR team. You can do so much better. Like, get that American flair. But like, they dropped the ball with this one. They really, like, Rich Energy, like, I don't know what they did. I put them up as high as I did mainly because of the potential and what I hope this holds for the future. And just because it's a change. They needed to move on from what they had last year. So I think it's a step in the right direction. They just need to go further with it. Uh, there's, I, I, I'm glad there's more sponsors coming in. Yeah. But if this is what they're going to do, like they can stay on the sidelines, let Haas handle the main, themselves. The main benefit to this is that there's a lot of room for improvement. Yes. So we'll see what the future holds for them. Exactly. In Haas, the graphic design department. Rich, Rich Energy is the one that really let me down, but hopefully they can get this stuff together. Yes. And like act right. Again, uh, If I want to go to the race in Canada and I don't want to see that Haas. I agree. All right. So what's next? McLaren. McLaren. Okay. McLaren. So I'm going to take it from here. You go ahead. Um, so, wow. I've been, I, okay, I was so happy last year when McLaren was like, yeah, we're going back to orange, orange. Not 2017 orange and black. That was that was my number 10 for back then. Like, that was like Haas yeah, level that disappointment. Was, that was also my number 10. <laughs> yes, exactly. Haas would have been number 9 that year. That was McLaren trash. Was so... McLaren this year, they're kind of reminding me of what they did with Alonso. Um, like, for his last race back in Abu Dhabi, like, with okay. the extra blue, they just yeah. kept it, moved it to the front wing. I rank this solid number five. Solid number five? Because they're keeping... They do, They did what Lotus did in um, 2013. Like, remember, like, yeah. when yeah, they yeah, yeah. added... They had, like, the classic livery that they mm-hmm. brought back from the 70s and 80s, and they slapped some red on there. Yeah. Just to, like, change up the look... That's what McLaren's doing here with blue, and I love what the numbers are looking like, too, the kind of offset for the 55. Lando Norris, he's number, like, four, right? So it can't, yeah. it can't be on that one. Yeah, he's taking Max Chilton's old number. Yep. But with what they did with signs, they have the offset number 55, and then they have, like, the triangles on the back. Like, McLaren's, like, doing the triangle thing. So I really like how they blended together the blue and the uh, orange. Obviously, like... If we could get chrome back, like that'd be cool. Like a chrome and orange look would be cool. I am like, fully with that. That's my those favorite are the two, McLaren. Those are the two McLaren colors, orange yep. and silver. Yeah. But like this one, like I want to rank it so much higher, but it's a solid number five for me right behind Mercedes. Um, this is where I have I have a pretty bold ranking, but I want to disclose first that so just I like am with the biased house. because... I have absolutely no love for McLaren. I despise that team. And I also despise the color orange. <laughs> so my, McLaren's at number nine. For wow. Me. <laughs> okay, damn. <laughs> yes. And the only reason it's at number nine is because they added the blue. It would have been it would have been a number ten if they did not add this blue. I do really like the blue. Uh-huh. It's about the only thing I like about this paint job. I love this blue on the rear and on the front wing. I think it looks fantastic. Um but I don't I don't really have much to say about this other than I think the orange looks very ugly. Yeah. Um I'm just this is just a personal opinion but I I really hate it. Like last year when they went full orange, uh-huh. I really hated that. I I think it does not look great at all. Um and it th- this car just looks like 
it's just going to keep on disappointing. Um, that's what McLaren's been on right now for the past almost decade now. Yeah. Is just a team of disappointment, and I'm I'm glad to see them in that position <laughs> um, because I historically hate this team. Yes, um, but I I agree with you that the the chrome looks the best on the McLaren. Like my favorite McLaren paint jobs were Lotifer. it was actually prime time hate McLaren for me uh, during the beginning of Lewis's career yeah. when they had that Vodafone chrome. Also, the Mika Hakkinen, early two yeah. thousands with with Kimi, yeah, the West paint job. I thought that and the Vodafone are the best McLarens that they have made, and I think that's what McLaren should be. That silver, dark, even even with silver and black, kind of what Mercedes is right now, but different. The way they did it with Mika and Kimi in the early two thousands, I think that McLaren looked straight up evil, and I think that's the look that fits them the best. And this orange is just ridiculous, in my opinion. And they need to slowly start phasing it out, which I hope that's what they're doing here with the introduction of more blue. Um, I think they need to move away from that because it just looks goofy. I can't take this car seriously, Um, especially last year when it had the full orange. I just can't take it seriously. Like, I just laugh every time I see it. And I think they deserve their their performance and reliability issues uh, with this paint job. Because it's just, this is just not okay. They can't keep doing this. Here's the problem with McLaren. That since since the seventies, when <laughs> when Marlboro came on, they have never had their own brand. Like the that is true. the brand that they were was the brand that sponsored them. Yeah, you know, they their had, main sponsor was. You had the Dayglow McLaren with Senna and Prost, and like even Lauda. The Marlboro. Exactly. Black yeah. And Earlier, like it was more orange with um, Fittipaldi yeah. and with um, Hunt, and then you know you go into the West with Hakkinen and Raikkonen. I just want to add on that I think that paint job the the. Hunt and the Senna ones, yeah. the white and I guess orange. I yeah. always thought that was red yeah. instead of orange. Okay, no, um, and I think it should be red. I think yeah. that paint job with red instead of orange would look a lot It's better. like red orange. Like, you know those Crayola? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a really dark yeah. orange. Yes. Um, I just, yeah, this is a complete bias for me. I just hate orange. Yep. Um, but I think with the red, it looked pretty good. Ever since that they lost Vodafone in 2013, the Perez season, like, they have had an identity crisis. Complete identity crisis. Like, because they, they ran one year with Chrome. Yep. And then the next year when they got Honda, they went half Chrome, half black. And then they went fully black with, like, the reverse of, like, the old look. I think 15 looked pretty good. They had that, oh, yeah, they had that middle ground. It was, like, a dark gray. It reminded me of the 2005, 2006 car. Yeah, it had that. Yes, exactly. It looked kind of menacing. It wasn't menacing performance-wise at all. But it had like that red like outline uh-huh. to it and then the the dark gray, which almost looked black. I think that looked really cool. Yes. And then twenty seventeen, <coughs> like they just didn't know what they were doing. Yeah, it was whatever it just, year whatever it just year, became a mess. Just whatever like year the they lost around Dennis. It's like that was I know that was the year that the orange came back, but when they brought the papaya orange, I'm like, okay. That's more what you're going for. I feel for. like their paint jobs as of late really reflect the state of this team. Uh-huh. Just could just complete turmoil, lack of direction. Don't know what's happening with yeah, them. Ever since Lewis left. But that's, all that's I have to say another McLaren. conversation since Lewis left McLaren. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, so now on to the Canadians. Racing Point. Are they Canadian Racing or are they Point. British? Um, do you know? I do not know. I have what's no Wikipedia idea say? what their status is. Also, shout out Wikipedia for having like the best layout. I've been checking 20 blank whatever... Formula One season on Wikipedia forever. And, like, for some reason, I've used other sites. I've even used the Formula One app, but I'd go to um, Wikipedia before anything else. So, yeah, are they are they British or Canadian? Because I know they went to Toronto for I'll their... i uh, look right now. Is, does it have a, a question mark? It, it's a question mark. It's so a we question don't mark? Know. So We don't know. <laughs> we, we have a nationless team. We have a nationless so, team. We'll just call them the Canadians because they know it's sure. the Strolls. Yeah, Stroll bought out the team. And then so. Toronto. And then they have Lance, the Sun. Yeah. So, again, with them now being racing Is point. this it? No, that's no, last year. that's year's. last year, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah, just pull up the road and track one. Like, there was a good picture from the back. Yeah. 
There. All right, Dusty, I'll let you take this one away. So this is my number one. Number one, yeah. This is my number one paint job. It. Yep, I absolutely adore this pink. This was, switching to pink was the absolute best decision they could have done in it's the graphic brand, design BWT. department. Yes, I think it looks wonderful and it's so different from anything we've had, at least while I've been watching F1. This is probably the most, one of the most unique paint jobs I have ever seen and they keep, they improve, they do slight improvements to it in a way that makes it better. Like this year they added this dark blue on mm -hmm. the engine cover, which I think looks fantastic. They have the light shade of pink and then they have the darker, really bright, like hot pink, like GTA 5 hot <laughs> pink on the front. And I think it just looks beautiful. Like I'm in love with this paint job. Yes. It, it's so unique. And and it's also, it fits the team well because it's such a lovable team. Mm -hmm. Like they're always the underdog that overachieves. They always, they always project to perform really low. Every year we say, okay, this is the year where Force India, when it was Force India, they're going to start tanking and they, they can't hold it on for much longer. But they keep overachieving. They're the only ones uh, other than Stroll's podium, which he now races for them that have been on the podium more than most other best of the rest mm -hmm. teams. Um, they just keep overachieving and they're just a fan favorite team. And it was almost like fan service that they did this paint job, this switch to pink. And I think it looks gorgeous. And I hope, I wish the best for this team because they're <laughs> just, they're just so lovable. You know, well, they've always been that team ever since Jordan, like, they were that with Jordan, like throughout yeah. with like the yellow cars, and when Schumacher started out their first year of racing, and they went to a Midland Spiker, and that was the Marcus Winkelhock era. <laughs> well, like Winkel the Rock, era. shout out to Winkel Rock. Yeah, that one race, that one race, but like everyone wanted him to do good, and then like they go to Force India, they got Fisichella almost winning that race in Belgium. So like, yeah, this team has always been putting out good paint jobs, and I have the good racing results point. on track. The first new racing point paint job, I got number two. Number two. Yes. So, again, it's the BWT branding. The sport pays that came on. I don't like the name Racing Point. Like I don't either. It's, po it's Racing Pointless. That's what it is right there. It's the, it was the necessary sacrifice, I guess, to keep this team alive, uh -huh. which, thank God this team is alive. Yes. and Because it was very close to this team being eliminated completely, which would have been a very sad loss from F1. We don't need any more teams leaving. Mm -mm. Um, but shout out to Lawrence Stroll uh -huh. and Paris for saving this team. So with this paint job, the only reason why I have it at two is on the Sport Paisa logo on the engine cover, it, there's just a little too much blue. Okay. Just a little too much, a little too blank for... Yeah. For, like, I know blank space or empty space is an element. Design it's a design element. tool. Design tool, Yes. I'm not a graphic designer, you were, so like that was that's my what that was my motto when I was a graphic design uh, major. So the thing here is the sport pays logo could either be made bigger or that blue can be pushed up a little bit with more pink. Like, yeah, I feel like okay. this car doesn't have as it does not have as much pink as last year's or the year mm -hmm. before. And I feel like there could still be more, but again with the branding and all that, that gets in the way. So yeah, solid second spot. Solid. What's the next team? All right, we have not Sauber. <laughs> Alfa Romeo. Alfa Romeo. Another fan favorite. Which I got to get a flag because Kimi yes. going over. Yes, your favorite driver, the Ferrari Junior team. Basically, yeah, the Ferrari I love Junior this team, team with the Ferrari Senior driver. I'm a big fan of this team. Um, they they overachieved so much last year uh -huh. with Leclerc, and even Ericsson yes. had a great performance last year. And I have this paint job ranked at number four. Number four, okay. Number four, pretty solid. I really do like this paint job. That dark red, I don't know what shade that is, but that is gorgeous. It reminds me of the 2008 Ferrari yes. red, which is my favorite Ferrari oh. red. Um, and with the white, it looks, I think it looks beautiful. It's just the Alfa Romeo logo on the back yes. looks amazing. That um, that that's the key. I just want to give me. a shout out to that that uh, Valentine's Day paint job that they ran. Yes, with the uh, <laughs> with the flowers that full red. I thought that was really cool too. Um, if, if that was the main paint job for the season, I would not mind at all. Um, but I think I think this car just looks great. It yeah. looks fantastic. I'm really excited to see Kimi and Giovinazzi in this. 
Um, that nose too. The, yes. The build yeah. of the car itself. Um, Ferrari said that they're testing out. Um, they're testing out things on the on the Alpha with no limitations. They're basically mm-hmm. just going all out with it, trying to see, trying to trying crazy new designs to see if anything works. And I think they're running it. They're using Alpha as a testing ground for it because that's basically their junior yeah, team. Their front wing's crazy. Yeah, and now that they've moved Kimi to that team, uh-huh. he can help them with feedback because he's a, he's a pretty plays a big role in the car design and the performance with feedback from the driver. And I think I think they just nailed it with this. Yeah, this is our biggest difference in ranking so far, I think. Yeah, because here's the thing. So, the front end of this car. I love, like, the little stubs on the notices that have been a thing since the um, regulation changes in yes. 2014. I have always loved when teams made that black. So it doesn't really? look like okay. it's there. Yeah. And Sa- Sauber. <laughs> and Alpha killed it with this one. Because yeah. it goes from the white, and the stripes go down the side, and they cut it. That was obviously a design on last year's car, and they've kept it on this. And then they've just, like, the red is, like, again, the shininess of it. On the but halo, too. On the halo, yes. Like the, They've just at, expanded where the red is. Mm-hmm. But the big thing, where they put the Alfa Romeo logo on the back of the car, it's not the same Alfa logo. Like mm. They kind of made it a little more cartoony. They got rid of the circle around it, but you can still see the circle around it. They made it all white instead of like... It was more design last year. Yeah. Because they were the sponsor and not the team owner. Yes. And just like the mix. And they have the full logo on the nose yes. now. And it's just the mix of the white and the red, like how it really elegantly goes down on the I side. I think that's pods. the perfect word to describe this. It's elegant. Yes. It's so elegant. It's, it's Swiss, it's Swiss it's classic. craft, Italian they have, elegance. And they have the Swiss sponsor on the yes. rear wing still giving shout outs uh-huh. to Sauber. Oh, no, it's a Swiss team still. Yeah. It's not Italian. Yeah. But Interesting. I didn't know that. I. I I guess I, I like seeing Finns win, and I like seeing Kimi on top, but that's not the case for it because Kimi's going to be driving a beautiful car with Giovinazzi. This is my number one right here. I imagine. I guess <laughs> this that this would be your one. number one. And this was very close to being my number I would consider yes. this for number one as well. The top four for me was any one of those could, could have been number one. Was the, before the, I got the Corvette that I'm fixing up right mm-hmm. now, Like I really wanted an Alfa Romeo Spider too. Like that yeah. was kind of like the 80s car that I wanted, yes. but then like the Corvette from the same year I got oh, now. Oh, gorgeous. So... This alpha, like, I saw the paint job, and I was like, okay, it's not the testing paint job, but wow, they really captured everything they can with this car. Mm-hmm. And I like how they kept the last year's paint job, but made it even better somehow. And just, like, visually, yeah. I I love, it Look, kind of looks like you can take the top of the car and pick it up and put it back down. Like, it's like Yeah, it's and it would fit in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. But no, it's it's a great looking car, and yeah. I can't wait to see its on-track performance. That's, I think they just did a wonderful job with this. What's next? All right. I believe we have Scuderia Toro Rosso. <laughs> Toro Rosso. Yeah, I don't, I don't know Italian. I know you do, so. Um, so got we, under, don't, we don't even We don't even look know. at it, yeah. And that goes into my... Uh, my ranking, this is number 10. Number 10. <laughs> number 10 because <laughs> I am, while I think, again, just like the Red Bull, when they introduced this paint job, I thought it was absolutely gorgeous. This is, this was just an amazing change for Toro Rosso. The reason I have it at number 10, same reason as the Red Bull, no changes to it. There's a, there's a, It's the same thing, basically. and But the reason I have it so low is this particular team has so much wasted potential with their paint job. So as we've seen the Red Bull cans. Yes. They they made their car look like a Red Bull can, like the blue design. Yes, the the, blue, the, the blueberry flavor, yeah. They could have changed it to one of the other cans. Yes. They there's so much they have so many cool designs in their cans that follow the same principle just with different colors. Yes. And I feel like that's just a a no-brainer almost uh-huh. to implement that into your car. It brands the team very well. It brands their sponsor very well. But they just don't do that. Uh-huh. And that that annoys me to no end because of how much wasted potential this team has. If they could do a bar 1999 trial because running like they want to run the Lucky Stripe and the 5-5 five, five, five car yeah. separately. Yeah. Like if they could have done that, but like, you know, they have the red edition, then like the coconut yeah. edition. Then the, the red would have worked. I mean, the team is called Toro Rosso. 
Red. That well, means even, red. Even Red Bull has never had a fully red car. Exactly. Red Bull isn't even fully red as a brand. Like, it's no. silver and blue, but the name Red's in there. No, but with with their product that the, the company provides that sponsors them, I feel like it would have just – it's right there. It's up for grabs. It's right there, and they just will not take that opportunity. Yeah. And that just disappoints me so mm-hmm. much about this team. And that's all I have to say about Torasso. Yeah, so shout out Danny Kafiat. Uh, shout out uh, Alvin. Really glad for his return. Yes. <laughs> I'm so happy to see Kafiat back. I'm rooting for him. Uh-huh. Even as a Vettel fan, I do really like Kafiat. I've always liked him. Yeah. And I wish him the best this season. So I have this ranked right ahead of Red Bull at number eight because I like the Toro Rosso paint job better than the Red Bull paint job. Yeah, fair like, enough. Straight up. Like, I love the silver that they have on yeah. there. Like, the silver yeah. lettering is really nice. But same thing, like, they have those different flavor cans right. that they could literally, I don't know, like, I guess marketing-wise, like, it'd be kind of crazy, like, having a different color every race. But, like, at the same time, like... I don't think so. That draws attention to it. That's exposure. That's... Yes. That's just good for the company. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't see why they won't take that opportunity. But, yeah, no... Because that metallic looks beautiful. And I think that, that Mini Champs would have fun with that, too. Yeah, like, they could absolutely. Have, they could have the whole line. Like, from a money perspective, they would sell so much more. Like, they would be the main focal point design-wise. They would be the main focal point throughout the season. What paint job are they going to run now? Like, what... Yeah. What can color are they going to implement into their car? They could change it based on, like, the country that they were in. Yes. Like, okay, like, like the that. Chinese Grand Prix, they'd yeah. run the red car. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Like, if there was a Dutch Grand Prix, they'd run the orange yeah, car. Yeah, Like, exactly. Belgium, they could run the orange one. Like, yeah. Or white. I don't know where they would run one. Yeah. Like, maybe Italy. Yeah. Or France. Somewhere yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. They'd have the white car. So. Canada. Canada, yep. Yeah. And then. Hell, like in America, run a like, green in Mexico, something like that. Something like that. Brazil. Even if Yell- they changed yellow in Brazil. Even if they changed it season by season, I'd be fine with that. Uh huh. Like yeah, have like, that flavor. And, yeah. Like, that's what they give out, like for free at the races or something. I don't know if you get a paddock pass, and they can hand out stuff for free. They already made a lot of money to pay, exactly. go um into the paddock. So again, so that's back of the field for yep. you. Number eight for me. One more. Williams. Williams. The, Rocket. The team that keeps keeps on spiraling into their downfall. <laughs> um, hey, at least they're still alive. Good for got, them. We got another Slav back, though. But we Two have, returns. We have something different. <laughs> um, this is my number five. Number five. Number five, because it's, one, it's a pretty drastic change, uh, which I like. I really like what they've done with the blue and white. They kept that pearly white, Mm -hmm. but they've added this light blue that I think fits really well with their team. Claire Williams said that. She wanted to change from Mm -hmm. dark blue to light blue. Yeah, and it's definitely a step in the right direction. I like the the martini stripes. Mm -hmm. I really like that. But I did think it got kind of tired. We had run from we had, they had run that since 2014, and that I'm kind of over it. That was the martini brand. Yeah, though. and from public perception of it, everyone's been kind of over mm-hmm. it at this point. It's not new anymore. Uh, but this is it. It's a it's a middle ground paint job. Like I don't love it. I don't hate it. It's there. I think it looks good, and I think. Their their graphic design department is not their priority right now. Their no, no. priority is getting that car to work um, and getting to race and hopefully not being absolute complete trash. Hell, uh, testing this past week, they didn't even run till Wednesday. Yeah, exactly. So shout out to Kubica. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he can maybe help pull them out of like the dirt, but there's n- not, not much hope. Realistically, not much hope for this team. Uh, they have to get it together. They're taking their time with it. Hopefully they start improving because they were really high up with their redesign in 2014. They they had been doing really good and then just slowly going down in performance. Mm-hmm. They got that podium in uh, 2017 with Lance Stroll. Again, also in Monza, really good qualifying session by him. Qualified second. That was out of nowhere. That was in the wet, right? Yeah, yeah, that was in the wet. Out of nowhere. Um, so they... They have potential, but their performance is their main priority right now. This paint job will do, and we'll we'll just see how they do this season. So the big thing with this paint job is I look at it, and I'm like, okay, here's what they should have done. Like, mm-hmm. I if it wasn't for 
Toro Rosso and Red Bull not changing and Haas disappointing me so much. It would have been lower, but I had to put those three there. So Williams is the lowest ranked car that I like mm. at number seven. Okay. So this paint job, it's not, okay, it's not even this paint job. It's what other people have done. Yeah. Like there's that <laughs> one, I don't know, it's what's floating around. If you, Every post about the new paint job on either Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, whatever, is a picture or a link to this one fan-designed car that has the exact same colors. Mm-hmm. But it's just like the design. I know, I know which one you're yeah, talking about. Can you see if you can pull it up? Like, and the design is perfect. This light blue is like the exact right direction for them to go. But I don't want to look at an F1 car and think, oh, what toothpaste company sponsors them? Like is that it, what it, this is? Is a toothpaste? It company? looks like a toothpaste tube. <laughs> well, Rocket, it does. Rocket makes phones. Hey, hey they, made, they make some pretty good looking toothpaste tubes. Right? <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, it does, but like, I'm just like, come on. I don't think you can find it. You're, they've always had different paint jobs. Yeah. Always. Like they were yeah. green, they were red for a couple of years, they were dark blue, mm-hmm. they were, we had BMW. Is it this? Yes, bam, right there. Okay. They added red and black to that. No, no, no. That looks insane. That I don't looks really like amazing. the red. Like, adding the I red, love the red. That would have been number one for me. If they ran that, that <laughs> might have been number one or two. The red looks too much like Martini and that one. Who made that? Like, is there a credit on there? I don't know. I don't think so. There was, I don't know where this picture Vanif comes from. Art Design. I believe it says Vanif Art Design right yes. there. So shout out to them for making this rendering. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's like, you Claire Williams needs to call you right now. Yeah. Like right now. Like I like the one with, instead of the red, light blue. Mm-hmm. Because like that's the way that they want to go. Again, red is out now that um, Martini's out. But Rocket has red in their logo too. Yeah. So like I'd say... I could work with the red, either the red number. I kind of like how Kubica... I think that looks absolutely stunning. I love how um, Kubica has, like, the Dale Earnhardt Jr. 88 style. Mm-hmm. So, like, I can kind of root for him, too, now, because I've been always rooting for Jr. <laughs> so the fact that they got the same number and, like, the same style, like, Williams adopting that was pretty cool. And with the red on that rendering, it looks like the old NASCAR paint job. Yeah. But, like, again, number seven... Williams could have done more I, with it. Could have done more. It's better than Haas. Step in the right direction, but could have done more with it, like, basically. Same uh, concept as Haas. Haas is like 30% there. Yep. 20% there. Yeah. Like, they're in that range. They're like 50. Williams is a solid 50 to 70% yep. there. There's somewhere yeah. in between I there. Agree with you on that. But over the next few years, if Rocket keeps this um, sponsorship up, yeah. or if they just keep that design, I think it'll be updated closer to the renderings that we And actually, what you said about the concept brings me to one final point I have to close this out. Yes. Is that I think teams should outsource their paint jobs more and maybe do something that would be really cool. Maybe Liberty Media could do something with this, like fan contests for paint jobs. Get the fans more involved, get more people into it, and you just, like, fans will come up with better paint jobs most of the time because... At the end of the day, it's what they want, and that's how you get what the fans want, implementing it with the sponsors, and you just get better paint jobs overall. Get the fans more involved, make it a more, you make F1 more accessible to more people, and it just becomes more entertaining. And I feel like that's something Liberty Media should play with in the future. Maybe get get some outsourcing, some fan contests, something like that. Um, to get people more involved and to just end in better results for their paint jobs. NASCAR strategy right here. So Mm -hmm. there's a lot of like NASCAR fan design cars. I know some drivers in Atlanta, the Atlanta race is tomorrow um, at the time of this recording. Like there's the Hendrick Motorsports drivers have shoes that were designed by kids at the Atlanta Children's Hospital. Yeah. Like that's cool. Like that's really cool. Yeah, that is pretty cool. Like it just expands the reach of the sport. And like American sports have always been like, really reachable and formula mm-hmm. one has always been kind of like on this pedestal yeah but now with liberty media like they're giving more they're and more making access. an effort to make it more accessible to the fans so not only would like a design a car contest like be great like that'd be obviously through the teams but liberty media could yeah. market the hell out of that yeah and the teams would approve it you could give like the top 10 designs to the mm-hmm. teams and then they pick a winner that winner could get like a paddock pass oh. it's just everybody wins awesome but then what I think with these paint jobs is teams used to have great paint jobs too. Mm-hmm. Like we always look at old paint jobs and compare them to now. Yeah. So what NASCAR does at Darlington, South Carolina, that's the throwback weekend. Yes. It's like it's 70s era, 80s era, 90s era, early 2000s, like stuff like that. Like pick a theme and go with it. 
I feel like the Italian Grand Prix or the British Grand Prix the should be Monaco. 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 Now, Make Monaco little, more interesting. That's a little earlier in the season. That's the thing. Yeah, but I don't mind that. It would add more flavor to Monaco, make it more interesting, justify its existence <laughs> a little more. Another podcast right there. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a whole other topic. I could ramble on that yeah, for an Reddit hour. I love that one. But yep. no, literally, a throwback paint job where, like, old Ferrari, old McLaren, well, McLaren's kind of going that way anyways. Mercedes either throws back to Terrell or, like, back their 50s designs with mm-hmm. Fangio. Racing Point does like a Jordan throwback, something like yeah. that. Obviously, you got to deal with the sponsors and all of that, but I feel like they'd be willing to sign on to it and just like changing up the look of the cars. Like NASCAR, Daniel Suarez, the Haas driver, like he was driving the Haas car this week, last yeah. weekend at Daytona, and it was like the black and red. This weekend, he's driving an orange and black car. Totally yeah. different. Yeah. Like, that's something with American sports and, like, even to- some touring car series. Like, every week there's a new main sponsor on the car. Mm-hmm. IndyCar does it, too. They look totally different every week. Yeah. Yes, it might be difficult for the fans to see, but, like, one weekend out of the year to just yeah, change Yeah, it would just make things up. more interesting. And especially a throwback paint job. You can bring old fans back into the sport. You can mm-hmm. bring, bring new fans into the history of the sport. Yeah. I feel like I think that's everybody would win with that. Liberty Media. I hope I hope other people are As long as they least. find a way to get the sponsors involved and implement them, it should be fine. Mm-hmm. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what Liberty Media does with it in the future. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm really excited for this season though. Yeah, yeah, like, me too. Testing looked good. The cars Hopefully look... Ferrari will not disappoint again. Some they cars... probably will, okay, but all... we have hope. All the cars look good. Yeah. Like I'm glad they Yeah, are. at least I'm... all all the cars do look good. I'm glad there are cars. Yeah, I yeah. Think that's one thing that should be said too. I'm glad we're, we're both glad mm-hmm. that there are competitors out there that are gonna be racing. It's weird to think that Lando Norris is younger than both of us. I know. Like he has he has me by over a year. He has you by like a month. Right? I know, dude. We're getting old. Yeah, Lance Stroll. I was born the same month as Lance Stroll, so yeah, like that's really is... weird. We were born right down the road from each other too. Basically, to just drive down the highway from Montreal to Boston. We were right there. Yep. I mean, it's weird to think about though. But yeah, Formula One's changing. Paint jobs. Could be changing. Some teams aren't. Some teams are. Some teams are doing a good job, bad job. But on track performance, hope a livery doesn't prove performance. No, no, not at all. But Ferrari might help them out with the mat. Hopefully. <laughs> I hope it whatever works, man. Yeah. All right. So that would be all for our first podcast. We just did this spur of the moment. Yeah. Like, this was awesome. But, like, yeah. hopefully we can turn this into something. Hope you guys yeah, enjoyed okay with them. SoundCloud, YouTube, wherever we're going to post this. Twitter. Go follow our Twitter. I believe it's at the Final Sector. If I got that wrong, or Final Sector Podcast, whatever, it'll be up on the uh, what do you call it in the title or on the screen right now on YouTube. Whenever I get around to editing this. But all right, thank you guys for listening. Hope to tune in later. Have a good one. <laughs>